Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. We're in the guest segment today, and we have the Fitchburg Senior Center. We have uh, Sarah Falkers in today. Sarah, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. good. Thanks for coming up here. Thanks for having me. Um, and we're getting just kind of a little bit of an update for what's coming up, mostly in March. But yep. first, we want to talk about a program that uh, you and Amy do downstairs. Yes, yes. So we have a program. We call it the Patient Advocate Program. And we have two individuals who act as volunteer patient advocates. Mm -hmm. One is a retired nurse and the other is uh, a social worker by training. And what the program is meant to do is to give people who are going to multiple medical appointments, um, who don't have anybody to go with them, somebody else to go meet them at the office, um, at their doctor's office, and be in the appointments with them. So they have another set of eyes and ears. Um, the patient advocates have a lot of experience uh, working with people in medical clinics. So it's been really helpful for a lot of our clients to have that companion there with them, taking notes, mm -hmm. um, you know, re realizing what needs to be followed up on, and then the patient advocates turn back and, and give the information to Amy and I so that we can be aware of, of what the situation is as well. Awesome. So it's a free program, okay. um, and we are, we are encouraging people, if they feel like they would benefit from having a patient advocate with them at medical appointments, to contact either Amy or I. Mm -hmm. um, the, the patient advocates are looking for some more, some more people to work with. Um, so it's really a nice program. Amy and I don't, unfortunately, don't have the time to go to everybody's medical appointments all of the time. So it's been a real help for us as well. I bet. I bet it's awesome to have. Yep. And, and yep. how many, about how many patient advocates do you have? Did you we say? have two. You have two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are you ever looking for more or are you good with two right now? That, for probably advocates? not at this time. Mm -hmm. um, if it were to grow and, and get more overwhelming for the two that we have, <laughs> uh -huh. then, then possibly. Okay. Um, but you never awesome. know. And then what's a, what's a good number for uh, people to get in contact with you or Amy? They, sure. They can call the main line at 270-4290 and just ask to speak to either Amy or myself. Um, you know, and they, they can be somebody that we already know, too. So mm -hmm. if, if somebody out there who knows us mm -hmm. thinks that they can benefit, they can just call us directly. A lot of people have our, our direct lines. Um, so, so either. Either way. Awesome. Well, that sounds yeah. like a really good program. I think yeah. it's really nice for both you and the patients mm -hmm. that need mm -hmm. that help and just the extra ear is always yes. nice yes. at the doctor's yep. office. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that sounds like a really good program. It is. Yeah. Um, so we also have a couple other things coming up in March. Yeah. And we I do. know we have um, Joe Parisi coming down soon. We do. Yeah. Yes. Joe is coming. I got to look at my notes. He's coming actually next Monday, uh, March 11th at 1045. Mm -hmm. He is going to give an update on just the work that Dane County is doing to clean up the lakes, um, renewable energy development, and how mm -hmm. it will benefit county taxpayers. Um, so come on down. He's going to be at the Senior Center again mm -hmm. Monday, March 11th at 1045 in the dining room. Awesome. So that'll be kind of exciting to... To have him come and... And it looks like you'll have some time at the end there to ask some questions yes. after he's talked. Yep. So yep. it'll be nice. That would be a yes. good thing to come down to. Yes. And yeah. just meet him and talk, yep. you know, mm -hmm. have your concerns, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. He's and there if, to talk. And if you can't make it, maybe you guys will be yeah, recording Yeah, I, I believe we're down there to record okay. that in the dining Great. room. And we'll be down there and uh, we'll re-air it here. We'll talk about it mm -hmm. on uh, probably on Tuesday on Talking Fitchburg. Okay. You know, have that um, kind of what he went over and, mm -hmm. and make it a full show as yeah. well that would air later. Yep later yeah so. that's great it's always yeah. exciting to have people um you know working in county government state government come mm -hmm. and and be at the senior center definitely yeah it's always nice yeah all yeah. right and we got a couple more events yet coming we up. do yes um i'll leave this the biggest one for last okay <laughs> um, on march 14th at six o'clock in the evening mm -hmm. we're going to be having an alzheimer's community forum Awesome. And it'll be an opportunity for people to of all ages. So, you know, people our age, people who are older, mm -hmm. um, even young, you know, it doesn't matter who you are, what age you are. Mm -hmm. um, you can come and ask questions about Alzheimer's and other dementias. Um, talk about your personal experiences, learn about resources that are available, um, and even to learn about volunteer opportunities working with organizations who support awesome. people who have dementia and their families. Awesome. Um, so that is going to be, as you can see on your screen, March 14th at 6 p.m. 
and it'll be at the senior center, so otherwise known as the lower level of the community center. Um, mm -hmm. And then the phone number is on there to register. You wouldn't call the senior center number. You would call that 1-800-272-3900. Yep. Awesome. Um, so, well, it seems that, like a really good forum. I mean, it's for all mm -hmm. likes of who's interested in, uh, who's worried about right. Alzheimer's or who's interested right. to help. Like, mm -hmm. it's all encompassing. It sounds is. sounds like a really good forum yeah. to come down to. It is. And there are so many people who are affected with Alzheimer's or other dementia, mm -hmm. whether they're a caregiver, a family member, mm -hmm. or they have they have the disease themselves. So Right. It's, well, it just seems like everyone at least knows one person yes. with Alzheimer's mm -hmm. these days. So it's, it's yep. always good to know about it. Yep. Because yeah. it's very helpful to know how to... Yes. How to help these people mm -hmm, and, and mm -hmm. react with that, you know, yep. around them. Yep. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. And then the big one coming up, yeah. not March, but in but April. But in April. So save the enough. best for last. Yes. Yeah. It's our pancake breakfast, Woo. Sunday, April 7th. And hopefully the weather will be better a month from now yes. than it is today. <laughs> um, but it's going to be from 8 to noon. Um, as always, $10 for adults, $5 for children up to 10 years old. Um, mm -hmm. The menu... Same as, as it usually is. Mm -hmm. Eggs, pancakes, sausage, applesauce, juice, coffee. Can't go uh, wrong. No, you can't go wrong. So come before or after church. Mm -hmm. Skip church and We're come. There. We're there. Yeah. Just come, come and for hang no, out. Come and hang out. Um, it's a great event. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a fundraiser for the Senior Center, and it helps to... Um, it just helps for other programs that we do that uh, might not be paid for or funded by the city or the county. Mm -hmm. So, and I remember last year you had quite a line. You had uh, yes. a lot of people. So, yep, well, which is really good. You, it you is. You had a lot of people come in and it's really good and support the senior center, which yeah. is great. And yep. you get a good meal out of it. It's a great meal. Just make sure <laughs> you get there before the fire department. <laughs> oh, is that the key? Because when we they show up. We That's usually it. will run out right after that. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just good. they're hungry, right? <laughs> yes, you they feed are them. very they're, hungry. They're growing boys, and <laughs> boys and girls out there. So yeah, yeah. All right. There's a lot of other things going on too, but yes, I think my time is up. Yeah, we're about there. <laughs> but, but no, it's been very good. Uh, yeah, there's always more on the news. Uh, don't forget to check out the newsletter yeah. if you want to learn more what's going on in the mm -hmm. senior center. There's also the what's happening with the Fitzburg Senior yes. Center that Amy and Mandy, Amy and who's Mandy. a volunteer coordinator mm -hmm. down there. Um, uh, it's on weekly. The new one would started this uh, today. Yep. So check it out for what's going up this week and and what's going on the rest of the month. So their show is usually good for a few laughs. Too. Yes. Oh yes, yeah. it always is good. And, and 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 they have some good ones here coming up. So we yeah. just taped it on Friday. So oh I, good. Can't wait. Good. Always good bloopers with them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, Sarah, thank you again for coming thank in. Thank you. And we'll we'll see the Senior Center next all month, right. and hopefully all these events this month go really well. Sounds good. And thank you. And just before the uh, pancake breakfast, so we'll keep airing that all right. and make sure people come. Awesome. All right, and we're going to take a quick break. Um, be right back. You're watching Talking Fitchburg.